Good afternoon YouTube. Today we're going to review a Todd Bag Steelcraft knife. Um, I just got this in. Um, this is the Todd Bag Steelcraft Series Field Marshal Blue and Silver Titanium. Hand satin finish, which is nice. This is how the box comes shipped to you. And a uh, USPS priority mail bag. That's how I chose to have it shipped. Um, I did open this already. Um, so inside the white box, you have your normal uh, knife box. And the box is wrapped in this bowl wrap, so it is protected well um, when you get it. Upon taking it out of the bubble wrap, you're presented with a box that looks just like this. Very nice box, very nice presentation um, all the way around. Um, nice box. As you can see on the end, you have your sticker with your model number and um, such on there. Really, really nicely done and very well presented. On this box, you also do have a magnetic clasp, um, which is, it, it's a nice presentation feature. Um, I, I really do appreciate those things. Um, I feel like when you're spending you know, $500 for something that it should be presented to you in a nice manner. Um, and that's just the way I feel about it. Um, so now we'll get into the knife here. And I actually have my tape measure that I forgot to set up. Um, so we can look and see the actual size of the knife and everything. That should be in frame for y'all. Um, so upon opening the box, you're presented with a piece of paper here, um, which is also nicely done inside there. You have your little um, piece of paper congratulating you on your purpose, yada yada. Um, they also do have a little card in there with your serial number on it and letting you know, or if you ever do sell it, that it is an authentic Todd Bag uh, Steelcraft Series knife um, and for any warranty purposes you may need and whatnot. Um, this is a really nice touch. I really appreciate that. Um, that, that to me is just something nice um, that he does and it, to me, when you spend that kind of money, I, I just think those little touches are nice. And you do get a sticker in there as well. Um, but like I said, I had opened this to view the product and I had already stuck it uh, on my uh, computer at work. So you do receive that as well inside the box. And then you're presented with the knife itself in the box, which has like a high density... Uh, foam cut out in there very well protected and very nice and as you can see it is a very very pretty knife um, when you actually take the knife out and I won't be carrying this knife this is um, something I, I wanted to get because I collect them um, but that that's what comes in the box so I'll set that right there and I'm going to slide this over here and we'll take our measurements on it open and close before we go any further. Um, so you're looking at roughly five and a quarter, five and an eighth to five and a quarter inch length closed. And you're looking at about nine and an eighth 
nine and an eighth inch, um, nine and an eighth to nine and a quarter inches open. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this for a moment. And then you, I'm pulling this up and I want you to look at the detail um, in this knife. This is beautifully done. Um, this knife will run you about $460 tax and everything. I mean, you're right out the door at $500. Um, if you choose the free shipping option, maybe $485. Um, for a production knife, uh, you get quality in this particular piece that um, I, I can't even describe. It, it's absolutely stunning and uh, breathtaking. Um, each one of these uh, cutouts is fully polished, um, precise. I mean, just uh, really, really breathtaking. The design, the cutout, everything done on this knife is um, very, very well done. Look at the, If you look at the backspacer there, um, very nice design, everything polished evenly, um, your lanyard loop on your pocket clip, you have your classic Todd bag, uh, ball bearing, ceramic ball bearing, uh, on the end, hidden screws on the actual, um, pocket clip, which is amazing. And I don't know how well you'll see it on camera, but it, it's perfectly flush with the actual um, scales of the blade. I mean, they're, it's perfectly flush. Um, very, very well done. If you look at that, the blade center, blade centering is dead on center. Um, probably to the hundreds of a millimeter. Um, really beautiful. Um, this does have an IKV um, ball bearing system in it, and it is a flipper. So basically, your finger would go there and put a little pressure on it, and it'll flip open. Um, smooth very very smooth um butter like and that was a slow flip you know you could flip it uh, a little quicker there this is the particular has the thor blade on it and it is a hand satin finish meaning that someone came in and hand sanded this blade finish by hand um which is almost unheard of for a production knife um, gives you a really, really nice look on there. Um, on the opposite side, you can see you've got your Todd Bag Steelcraft series uh, laser etching in the blade there. You have your classic Todd Bag. Uh, I, I don't know what you call them. I call them blade holes, drilled out holes. Absolutely love that about his knives. I think it's a great design. You can also see the blade is um, beautifully shaped. Um, nice hollow edge on there. Um, beautifully grinded. Um, it's, it's stunning and I'm, I'm still breathtaking by, by this actual knife. Um, this blade material is S35 VN. Um, it is a very good steel and you'll hear people that'll tell you, oh, this steel is better and that steel is better, yada, yada. There are certain steels that are better for certain applications. Um, so you cannot, you can't say a steel is better. My everyday carry knife, which is this just cheap little Kershaw for 50 bucks. Um, I don't even know what steel this is. It's 8CR13 MOV. Um, this is what I carry every day. Um, it's a great, great knife for what I use it for every day. Um, I actually repair, um, copiers and such. And 
I open a lot of boxes and tape and things such as that. I'm not taking a $500 knife to cut open tapes, tape and boxes and that. Um, this knife will probably never cut anything except maybe my finger or something while I'm playing with it. Um, why is that? Would I carry it? Absolutely, I carry it. I won't cut with it though. Um, primarily is uh, I love Todd bag knives and this knife to me um, it it just spoke to me when I looked at it. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, I, I mean, I can't say enough about it. it, it it's beautiful. Um, as you can see, if you're going to use it, which some people would, it fits nice in your hand. Your, your hand wraps around there real good. Your finger's blocked by your flipper. You got good knurling on that blade, so you're not going to slide up anywhere. You, you've got... And your thumbs just rest beautifully right in there. I mean, just comfortable as can be. Like, if you were going to do something with this knife, I mean, you could do it. Um, it's not um, skimpily made or, or, or nothing. I mean, it, it feels like a knife in your hand. And it feels like when he designed it, it, he meant for you to hold this thing all day just like this. I mean, it's comfortable. Um, and, it, and it's a big handle and I got pretty big hands and it, it fits them good and comfortable and I can hold this knife tight like I am. You can see the blood squeezing out of my fingers and uh, it's, it's comfortable to me. Um, so that being said, I mean, it, it's just beautiful. Um, it is, like I said, it is a flipper knife. Um, is ball bearing supported um, so you get really smooth frictionless um opening and just like any knife as they're new um you know you have to flip them probably you know if you flip them good 50 75 times they'll start to break in and they'll ride really really smooth um but as you can see i mean the blade just follows as, as it should um, and this is just just open um, and it falls really smooth there is absolutely no play in the in the blade which obviously that's pretty much a given with any Todd bag knife uh, or any knife of of good quality um, should not have any blade play in it um, it is a frame lock knife meaning that as this blade is popped out this frame actually locks in um i don't know i'd say 10 20 percent maybe on the uh the lock um it ain't going nowhere it's not gonna close shut it's easy to open close and will only get easier with time or me playing with it um i really can't tell you the the detail and everything it went into that uh, the detent ball holds it good good and tight and uh, just everything about this knife is is beautiful and and I'm, I'm proud to own it and I'm, I'm proud to support uh, Todd bag knives and, and what he does because he truly is uh, one of the, one of the uh, most uh, Designed some of the most beautiful nice knives I, I could ever desire to own. Um, my big knives are Todd Bag, Stan Wilson, and I also really, really like uh, Brian Tie knives. I've got one of his knives on the way that we'll be reviewing. But this is the Todd Bag Steelcraft um, Field Marshal Blue and Silver Titanium and uh, S. 35 vn blade um can't say enough about it very happy to own it um if you do have any questions about this knife you can feel free to leave a comment i will if i don't know the answer i will try to find the answer and i uh, will shoot from there and see what we can come up with um if you can afford it um it's a great knife to have and i would highly recommend it um Todd Bag does a really good, great job with his knives, and uh, I'm 
I'm ecstatic to own it. Um, got a little gnat flying around here. Um, can't say enough about it. So if you're interested in the, this particular knife, um, you're not going to get it for less than $460. That's just the price it costs. Um, I would recommend you check out knivesshipfree.com. Um, and, and they'll be able to take good care of you. All their knives that they have um, ship pretty much that day. And everything on their website that you see is in stock. So it, it, it's going to go out for you. And they'll have it available for you. So check out KnivesShipFree.com as well. They are not sponsoring this or anything. This I just really like to shop there. I shop at Blade HQ and Knives Ship Free probably 85% of the time. Um, so that being said, again, Todd Bag Steelcraft Series Field Marshal um, comes in multiple colors, multiple finishes on the blade. Check it out. Um, hit up uh, KnivesShipFree.com. Um, check out all the offerings for this knife. Pick one up if you, if you can and enjoy it. It is a beautiful knife. I may buy another one just to carry so I don't ruin this one because to me this knife is just too beautiful for me to want to want to use and that's just the way I am I have knives I use and I have knives that I want just to look pretty so uh, that being said that's the review on this any questions put them in the comments below I'll answer them uh, just as quickly as I can and uh, that's it for this episode Check us out next time on the next knife adventure. Till then, have a good day, and we'll see you soon.